Hey everyone, it's Lab, and I'm going to explain my save game backup uh, thingy. Um, first of all, you need a couple of things. A backup service which syncs folders with a remote location. And Windows Vista or 7. It is also possible to do it in um, XP, but I don't have that running at the moment, so I can't show you how to do that exactly. Um, I will uh, tell you what the differences are. Okay, first open Notepad and type this command. What this basically does is Robocopy is the copying uh, program. C directory one with um, these marks. These marks are to um, ignore the spaces in uh, file names. If you don't do that, things will go wrong. So the source directory, the backup directory, and this slash e says that um, the file that all subfolders will be checked as well. Save it as a bat file. Make sure you have all files selected. And I already saved it, so no use for me. What you do next is to open the task scheduler of uh, Windows. And this is, oh, um, yeah, no, I'm going to do this first. Open a task scheduler, and what you need to do is the following. Create a task. Just give it a name, random, um, Make sure the you the privileges are to your account, and I doubt this this is really important for him or something. I'll just keep it on the default. Um, I use this setting as well, by the way. Okay, the trigger will be the following: hit new, hit one time. Just take a time and repeat the task every hour for the duration of 50 minutes or something. It's only a couple of seconds worth um, and enabled. So let's hit it. Okay, it must be equal, so one hour. Okay. So now it will uh, launch that file every half an every half hour. Um, the actions will be new start a program and select the batch file you already created. And that's basically it. Yeah, no need to do things. Here. Keep conditions and settings on the default stuff. This is basically all you need to do. And then uh, you're done with it. Um, for XP users, I can't show you how the scheduling thing is uh, done, but in your random in your bad file you need to hit the following or type the following. It's X copy slash e slash y and remove the e at the back what this does uh, for you is basically the same as it does in Vista and uh, Windows 7 
the E is also for looking in subdirectories and the Y is to suppress questions like are you really sure this uh, file needs to be overwritten and that's basically it so thanks for watching and I hope this is useful for you